We're here to celebrate the greatest who's ever wore the purple and gold. We are so blessed to have had this man wear the purple and gold for 20 years, and he was all about excellence. He thrilled us. He made us scratch our head. What did we just see? What did we just witness? And he gave us five NBA championships. I've learned is to, to to always keep going. Always. You know, there's, there's been times, particularly early in my career, where it just feels like this is the end. Um, but what I've come to find out is that, you know, no matter what happens, the storm eventually ends. If you want to make history, you have to do historic things. Three, that's three. Kobe Bryant. We worked so hard. It was a hard fought game, but we finally got a championship and it feels great. For your 21 years, you said you've always dreamed to win a championship. Is it what you dreamed of? Oh, it's everything and more. I mean, you have the, the Laker colors falling from the ceiling, the fans going crazy. It feels great. He looked at Jay-Z and he told Jay-Z, wait until you see my daughter play basketball. She is something special. And that's why when he came out just days ago and he alluded to how there's about two or three players that can play in the NBA, it was him sending a message to his daughter you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. You can achieve whatever you put your mind to. Don't let anybody on this planet Earth think for one second that they could hold you back. Don't you allow anybody to hold you back. The world is yours. The sky is the limit. Go for it. He was going to inspire folks across the world to be all that they could be and to make the sacrifices and to put in whatever effort was necessary to put in in order to achieve your goal. And that's why all of us sit here devastated today because to be as brilliant and as gifted as he was, full of life and so much to live for, and so many people who loved him and appreciated him, uh, to see him gone today is, is nothing short of devastating. First word that comes to mind when I say these words, okay? okay? Basketball. Love. Los Angeles. Home. Retirement. Peace. It's not about my jerseys that are hanging up there for me. You know, it's about the jerseys that were hanging up there before. It's about family. It's about my wife, Vanessa. <laughs> so thank you, baby, for being an inspiration to me. And, uh, and lastly, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I hope, you know, you guys know that, you know, if you do the work, you work hard enough, dreams come true. You know that, we all know that. But hopefully what you get from tonight is the understanding that those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And if you guys, if you guys can understand that, then what you'll see happen is that you won't accomplish your dreams. Your dreams won't come true something greater will and uh if you guys can understand that and i'm doing my job as a father thank you guys so much i love you what can i say mamba out because there will never ever be another kobe bryant